you're planning to buy the Ubu pan? Well, I'll show you that why you shouldn't. All right? You see this? This is not the Ubu pan. This pan is a regular pan that can be bought at any retail store for about 30 bucks. All right? Now, the Woo pan right here with engraved made in Germany, right? Is not the right consistency. If you can see the difference, you can see very well that this is uniformly cooked but the inside is I don't know it's dead and the taste of this pancake is disgusting in this pan but in this pan $30 pan is way better now you might say oh it's because you didn't use butter or it's the wrong recipe well I'll tell you a second reason why you shouldn't buy the woo pan because you would be surprised that once you receive your paper right in in this mysterious box white box right that's the most this most cheapest box you can find right okay the side looks okay, but why Why there's no, like, description? This looks like some kind of, like, cheap pizza box. Like, 12-inch pizza. Like, it doesn't even say what the materials are made of on the box, right? It just says um, some kind of other it doesn't say the the company name here so right away with the box you should say you, you should be alerted and you should be alerted very fast because you will not get pants you will not get a, a really good pancake or food let me explain why this is a letter that you get in your in your package. If you read the letter, congratulations, and skip all the bullshit, and go to the highlighted stuff, they highlighted it on their own, and pay attention, for a saute, two tablespoons of water. Now, ask yourself, why are they underlying the water? Second of all, why is this a paper like someone uh, it's printed it at a home. It's like extremely cheap paper uh, Printed with low quality ink and printer that has lines all over um, And it says here I Who I I strongly recommend that you try cooking without fat Why would I try to cook without fat when I can try it, yes, but why do you recommend? Which rises the second suspicion, where when you take the warranty paper, look, read very quick, carefully, it says smoke point guide, right? With wool's unique surface, you can cook with a minimum amount of fat, providing it is not overheated. Right? Pay attention to the last four words. It is not overheated. Why would they specify that the oil shouldn't be overheated? And then they say burning butter or oil or fat can leave a residue deposit on the surface which cannot be removed and will eventually impair the non-sticking coating. So this means this pan you can only make pancakes with no butter. Um, you cannot make steaks 
You cannot make fish with any olive oil because you need very specific kind of olive oil and even that you still cannot go over 238 degrees so and this top surface goes easily uh, uh, 400 degrees so you would constantly need to worry for your pan your woo pan to be burned and eventually this non-stick surface that you saw with the amazing cheese that they put that they cook will eventually fade and if you read the correct places after three years even with correct instructions your pan will be destroyed this is facts this is people from other websites mentioning that this pan will be destroyed within two to three years so why would you pay a much more price when you can get a basic pan like star fry to make pancakes might be a bit, a bit looking a bit better right this is from my pan that I just cooked and also pay attention to their way that they advertise their pan ask yourself why they do not let you taste the food because it's a marketing scheme it's a marketing scheme so they don't let you taste the food because they're scared that you will be dissatisfied from the taste of the of the pancake that they're cooking in front of you or of the cheese in your head you think it's crispy and nice but actually it's soft it's soft like a sponge and when you bite in it it's not a spongy feeling it's uh, like uncooked um, pancake in between even if you leave it for longer it's just gonna be more black and not tasty so I hope you take the good decision to directly give it back to Costco yes directly give it back to Costco and that is Costco's fault they accepted a product that people are not satisfied and they did not do their own research they accepted a product in their own stores to be served and uh, and they put it there those crooks there and also pay attention to who's advertising if the person looks suspicious or poor they are poor it's just a figure there and they're not chefs if they're chefs ask for their name ask what they do what's their favorite um, cuisine uh, ask them if they have any channels and you will soon very fast discover that they are not chefs actually so please share this video don't make me uh, don't make people fooled there's no quick solution there is still uh, Teflon in this and you will still be eating ca chemicals over the long run this is not a special pan it's free of PTTE but not of Teflon PTTE is just a derivative of Teflon so always uh, do your research and don't look just the first two or three Google pages look on the fifth and seventh and tenth page because these companies make reviews and will eventually report this video and try to take it down but share this video download it and re-upload it share it as much as possible and make sure that nobody for any product does not fall unless they do their research unless you're an idiot and you like spending money and you like to be angry after two three years that you wasted your money thank you